Jira is all about teamwork, and in this tutorial, we look at how it's now easier than ever to invite your team to a Jira project. We already have some team members in this project, but we need to add some more. To do this, we first click Add People from the top of the board. From here, we have a couple of options. For people we already know have access to Jira, we can simply start typing their name and select them from the list. It doesn't look like Mia has access to Jira yet, so we will enter their email address instead. Once we complete the process of adding them, people outside Jira will receive an email notification to create their account. Next, we need to set a role for Mia. Jira Next Gen projects have three options for user roles, and by default, new people will be added as a member of the group. Members of a Jira Next Gen project can create, edit, and delete issues, and can collaborate on work in the project. Members cannot view or update the project settings. The other options for role are administrator and viewer. Administrators can do everything members can do, plus they can edit the project settings, which we'll get into in a later tutorial. If you created the project, you automatically have the administrator role. Viewers, on the other hand, can view and comment on issues in the project, but they cannot create or edit issues. They also cannot view or update the project settings. The viewer role is a good choice for people outside your team who are providing feedback or who otherwise have limited involvement in the work in your project. Since they will be working closely with the team, we add Mia as a member. Once you have chosen the role for the person or people you are adding, click Add. And that's it, we've now added a new team member to the project. In the next tutorial, we'll begin to dig into some of the more detailed project settings. For more information about Atlassian training and certification, please visit the university website.